Euro stocks been in very, very tight range at the moment. Um, we got an extremely large ledge yesterday. So you've got a full 11, 30 minute periods hit the same price and sold off from it. That's a pretty good indication that someone's managing to hold the market without doing a great deal. This is something that then you expect the market to um, rise above. We got it early on. We got the dip down below value. We tagged yesterday's close. Couldn't break the bottom of the initial balance and then started to drift higher. In terms of what we're doing on an hourly chart though, at the minute, we are rotating between 11s and 20s. The range is that tight. So this is a very nice illustration of if you are trying to play it on the break, if you bought the break of this ledge this morning, the Euro stocks, you got two ticks on side and that was it. Um, so that's why just playing for the break and just waiting for the break and trying to hit that isn't always the best way to play a ledge. You want to be looking at a different way of getting in. This is a tricky one, I must admit, where you could have got in on this. Um, the only place that I'd really be looking at is the move back through um, this morning's open. So 14s, but ultimately you're playing 14s for a break of, um, where did the ledge come in? Break of 18. So you're looking for a very small five tick winner on that break. Um, and the fact that we've got no volume coming in on the day either is showing you that it's not likely to continue. So keep that in mind with those breaks. You really need to see the volume increasing as it breaks if you're going to play it the aggressive way and play it as it breaks. Otherwise, if you can find yourself a place to position yourself long or short beforehand, that's where you get the best bang for your buck because at least if it doesn't continue, you can get out on the break. Right, let's move us on to the question on options expiry. Yes, it was last week's um, trade, but 